G'day guys, I've got a applications of differentiation question to do today. Let's go through the question. It says the height of a lamp post, which is going to be this, is estimated by measuring the length of the shadow cast by a 2 meter long vertical pole placed 10 meters from the base of the lamp post. Okay, so we know that this length here is going to be 10 meters. And this, the north pole here that we've been with our put in, is going to be two meters high. Cool. So, assume that the lamp is at the top of the post. I don't know how we'd assume anything else. And the shadow was measured to be two meters with an error of one centimeter. Use derivatives to calculate the error in the height of the lamp post. Okay. So we're looking for this, the error in this. Now we have a shadow that's going to be cast. Now let's draw, what we're going to be able to do here is we're going to be able to create two similar triangles. So let's go about doing that. Okay, in the interest of space, I've gone about drawing the similar triangles like this, just so we can fit everything on the same page. Now, what we've got here is we've got a similar triangle here and we have a similar triangle in the whole thing. Um, what we can do here is we're trying to find out how the change in this side, we'll call it x, which is just measured from the pole to the end of the shadow, influences the change in this side, we'll call it y. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to use um, the fact that similar triangles have the ratios of the sides are the same. So what we can do is from here, we can go the ratio of y, the big side, over, so this side here, over the entire length, so y over x plus 10, is going to be equal to 2 over x. Because what we've got here, because this here could be 2, but it could be greater or smaller than 2 by 0 0.01, that's why we call this the explanatory variable, or x. So we don't actually know exactly how long this side is here. So what we're going to do is we're going to call this, instead of 2 plus or minus 1, we're going to call this entire length x. So what we can do now is we have to rearrange this formula here. So we have y in terms of x. And what we're going to do is we're going to multiply both sides by y plus 10. Oh, sorry, x plus 10. So we can have y is equal to 2 x plus 10 divided by x, which we can rewrite as y equals 2x plus 20 over x. Okay, so we're being asked to calculate the error in the height of the lamp post. Now the height of the lamp post we're measuring is y, so we're going to have to measure the error in y. The way that we calculate error is we know that there is a small error in this of plus or minus 0 0.01, so what we have to do is we have to see how this error of 0 0.01 translates through to the height of the pole that we're trying to measure. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to see how much y changes when x changes by 0 0.01. So the way we're going to use, we're going to use the uh, theory of small incre or incremental change. And we're going to say that small change in y over a small change in x can be approximated by the instantaneous rate of change in y over the instantaneous rate of change in x evaluated. And in this case, we're going to say when x is equal to 2. 
Cool. So basically what we can do here is we can rewrite this equation. And this is going to be, we can say that the change in the small change in y, we can approximate this. And we're going to say this here basically is going to represent our error in y is approximated by the instantaneous rate of change of y with respect to x evaluated when x is equal to 2 multiplied by the small change in x. Cool. So to calculate this, so what we've got here is the error in y is going to be approximated by the instantaneous rate of change of y with respect to x when x is equal to 2 multiplied by the error in x. So let's just make a few notes here. So this one here. So let's, first of all, we need to um, actually evaluate what the derivative of y with respect to x is. So let's calculate that. So we have And this is, we're going to use the quotient rule. Well, I'm going to use the quotient rule. So that's the derivative of the top times the bottom. So that's going to be 2x. Subtract the derivative of the bottom, which is 1, times the top. So it's just 2x plus 20. All divided by the bottom squared. Now this is just going to be equal to negative 20. On x squared. Cool. So what we're going to use is we're going to use we're going to evaluate this when x equals 2 and we're going to multiply it by the small change in x. So We're going to say that the error in the lamppost height, or delta y, is going to be approximately equal to this evaluated when x equals 2. So it's negative 20 on 4. Times the incremental change in x, which is 0 0.01. And this is equal to negative 20 over 4 is negative 5 times 0 0.01 is negative 0 0.05 meters. So we can say that the error in the lamppost height is five centimeters. So let's just quickly go through this. So what we had to do to start with, it's a relatively complicated question. We have to find out a rule that which will relate the change in the height of the measurement of, or the height of the estimate of the lamppost with the length of the shadow that's cast. Once we've done that and we've got a rule relating to it, which we found was this one here, we then have to express the error or the small change in y as being influenced by a small change in x. So we can use the uh, method of small change or the incremental formula to approximate what this error is going to be. We then have to evaluate the derivative and evaluate it when you know the x is equal to 2. We then get that. We substitute it in, we substitute in all our variables, and we plop out with a correct answer of 5. So it's a little bit tricky, this one. You're going to have to do it a few times. I would say the hardest part of this is identifying how the um, two values are going to be related to each other. But once you've done that, it's all pretty smooth sailing from there. So I hope this video helped. If it did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll uh, see you next time.